this one. <laughs> this is so cringy. What's up people of the internet, hope you guys are well. And today's video is going to be me reacting to new segments on Fortnite and how it's addictive and it's also violent for children. So let's start watching. Let's move on. It was The Sims, then Minecraft and Pokemon Go. Actually, if you're my age, first it was Pac-Man, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's currently whoa, whoa, whoa. Before I go on, in the time that I've played Fortnite, I've never heard that noise. Can we just repeat that? With 46 million players worldwide. Some of my friends actually can't get games like these. Why is that? Their parents just think it's not very good. I love how they use all the dramatic music. Fortnite is a cartoon Hunger Games style battle with a deadly serious premise. Players. Whoa, 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 can we look at that map of the uh, Fortnite again? Don't you think the Fortnite map looks like Tasmania? Armed with weapons. The aim okay, that's a minor error. Uh, you don't actually start armed with weapons when you start the Fortnite match. You just cannot wait to get back into his room and play Fortnite. So why are kids as young as nine playing the violent game? Parents should absolutely be paying attention to the rating system. You're comparing GTA to Fortnite. Often playing violent video games. Okay. But he's being widely played by younger children like Michael, who is 11. Yeah, you have to make sure no one kills you. So you have to kill others. You shoot them. Well said. And then they just fall to the ground and die. Not as brutal. That's not brutal? I wouldn't say brutal. Seamus Byrne is a gaming expert. He says the game has shocked parents because of its light rating. Violent video games are usually whoa, whoa, rated whoa. MA 15 plus. Can we get a replay on this? He says he's a gaming expert, but he's not actually playing. He's actually spectating. Have a look at that visual clip again. Violent video games are usually rated MA 15 plus. He calls himself an expert when he's got zero kills. Okay, so that's the a current affairs clip. Fox News Fortnite dance. You're not the shot. Yes. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. That one right there. And then there was like one that you do something like this. And, and then, then my niece <laughs> and nephew were trying to teach me this one. What is happening? Guys, the... Oh, this one. <laughs> yeah. That one. Oh, we're dropping my. I would hate to be their children. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's called Fortnite, and it has 125 million players around the world hooked. And therein lies the problem. It and games like it are so good, they're such a sensory smorgasbord of action and colour, our children are becoming addicted. Fortnite and similar video games have been Logan's sole obsession for the past two years, at the expense of almost everything else. Do you feel like you're addicted to gaming? Uh, not really, no. I don't feel like I'm addicted at all. Let's just look up the definition for addiction. An inability to stop doing or using something. Okay, well I guess what I'm asking is, do you, I mean, do you really think you have control over these games and how much you play? Uh, I do have control. I just choose to stay on it this long. <laughs> when did you last read a book? A long time ago. When did you last play sport? A while ago. When did you last hang out with your mates? Um, a decent while ago. Like, yeah, definitely not an addiction. I got friends online. Look, it's a modern tragedy. Because now it's stimulus people uh, are able to get in the modern video game, including the social stimulus, um, they can have so many needs met and the sensory hold the modern video game can have on the developing brain who can't make those reasonable judgments that, that as an adult most of us can, that's the real challenge and that's the parenting challenge that is I think different to other novelties uh, in the past. I think what this guy has just said is definitely the reason for why a lot of kids are addicted Logan to Fortnite. Logan is considered more susceptible than many. Sam has missed most of this school year and Logan hasn't been to school 
for two years. Not going to school for two years. That's not really a healthy lifestyle at all. Then again, there's always two sides to every story. And as you can see here, Australia's fam wins almost $11.2 million at the International 2018 Dota 2 tournament. That's crazy. All I can say is esports has definitely flourished in the last couple of years and that's probably because so many people love gaming and I guess it's becoming more mainstream nowadays. So it's like whether it's an addiction or you want to become a pro gamer, that's, that's a tough one to decipher. Is it a spare time kind of fun thing to do or is it an addiction? Only time will tell. That was an interesting reaction to some videos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. So, yeah, I will see you in another video. See ya. <laughs>